And as you heard, earlier today I was proud to join President Obama at the White House to discuss this ongoing work. And I'm pleased to, pleased to note this evening the President has announced a series of steps to take these efforts to a new level to strengthen promising practices by local police while bolstering law enforcement and community relations. First, based on an exhaustive administration-wide review of the distribution of military hardware to state and local police, which the President ordered in August, and which uncovered a lack of consistency in the way that this equipment is distributed and the way it is used, the White House has released a detailed report outlining next steps for ensuring appropriate use and distribution by federal programs. And the President has instructed his staff to draft an executive order directing relevant agencies to work with law enforcement and civil rights organizations to find ways to improve the effectiveness, integrity, accountability, and transparency of these initiatives. Second, the President has made clear that this administration will continue to support very strongly the use of body cameras by local police. And, and he announced a commitment of more than $263 million to support a three-year initiative that will invest in 50,000 body-worn cameras for everyone in this nation, expand training for law enforcement agencies, and add more resources for police department reform, and multiply the number of cities where Justice Department leaders facilitate greater engagement between residents and local authorities. Third, in the coming days, I will announce updated Justice Department guidance regarding profiling by federal law enforcement. This this will institute rigorous new standards and robust safeguards to help end racial profiling once and for all. This new guidance will codify our commitment to the very highest standards of fair and effective policing. And finally, the President took the historic step of creating a new task force on 21st century policing a body composed of law enforcement executives and community leaders from around the country, led by Philadelphia Police Commissioner Charles Ramsey, former Assistant Attorney General Lori Robinson, and COPS Director Ron Davis, who will convene in the coming weeks to examine the present state of policing, to identify best practices, and to make recommendations for the future. This important task force is going to ask tough questions. It will examine thorny challenges, and it will consider the state of law enforcement profession in a broad and inclusive way.